markets will be better for it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I call Alistair Scott, five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I think we can, it seems at least, we agree that competition is a good thing. Uh, competition uh, enables resources to be allocated, uh, businesses we're talking about particularly to be run efficiently, motivated to uh, survive, must earn a profit, compete with each other. Uh, costs uh, reduce the consumer benefits. So generally, competition is a good thing. But uh, as, as we've discussed, uh, there is from time to time a need for the Commerce Commission we're talking about here to investigate particular, particular uh, industries. But as noted by previous speakers, the concern that we have on this side is that the Commerce Commission or the Minister starts barking at the parked cars starts barking at, um, I think Mr Jones wants to talk about, investigate supermarkets. But he doesn't know or understand that there's a hell of a lot of competition already in that sector. For example, think of the fruit and veggie market down at the local, uh, at the, lo the wharfs here in Wellington, or in the local green in the, in the, in the provincial towns. Lots of competition that consumers are able to access. So if we have a minister like Mr Jones who decides that for some reason he wants to pick on an industry like supermarkets, then we're wasting money. We're wasting taxpayers' money on fixing something that doesn't need to be fixed. So that is the concern that business has, that there is a, an, uh, an additional cost, that an unnecessary cost, an unnecessary burden put on them. Uh, and we've already talked about mum and dad businesses in the fuel industry, the, su uh, the service station industry, uh, which, is, which is unaffordable, which is just another layer. And some of the members on the, not all the uh, members, but some of the other members on the other side don't seem to concern themselves with small and medium business operators and the costs that these types of regulations impose on them. The other risk, of course, and Mr Jones mentioned real estate companies as a possible target. He doesn't like real estate companies uh, either. I, I tell you what, uh, and if you've bought or sold a house recently, you'll know you can shop around and you can get that fee down aggressively. These guys are competing with each other all the time. So uh, again, why are we, we going to be chasing a parked car, uh, and, and particularly the real estate industry, when we know here that is an extremely aggressive and competitive industry. Perhaps rather than that, rather than focus on that, why not look at, no one's talked about the cost of building a house and some of the, uh, and some of the roadblocks and some of the uh, bottlenecks that are existing. Well, that government is, that, that's the government in charge. But we haven't heard anything about the building, cost of a building a house, in, from that side. So, how about looking at something like that? How about looking at something about you know, the allocation or the cost of water? That, imagine looking at that and running that effectively and efficiently, rather than a, a parked car like the real estate companies and the supermarkets. So um, Mr Gold, Honourable Gold, Paul Goldsmith mentioned it wouldn't be so bad if you could rely on having a responsible government or rely on having a reasonable and responsible Commerce Commission to do the job that this legislation allows them to do. But our concern on this side is that it has room to go nowhere, for an inquiry to be a waste of time and space, to put a layer of costs on a small business unnecessarily, and as I say, the Labor government, coalition government is what it's called nowadays, I think, uh, do not appreciate the costs already imposed by regulators on the... And I'll tell you the reason why more regulations are a bad thing. Mr Farfoy has got another idea to regulate loan sharks. He wants to put a cap... I digress slightly, Mr Speaker, if I may. He wants to put a cap on uh, loan sharks. But all that does... All that does... All that does is it puts, it puts the business under the table. It puts that whole industry under the table because people will still want to borrow money, and if the loan sharks don't give it to them above the table, you know what, Mr Farfour? They'll do it 
under the table, where you can't see, where the people will still be suffering, and, and that is the problem with more and more regulations from that side. Uh, this is a split call, five minutes. I call Willow Jean Prime. Kia ora. Tēnā koe. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. I just want to